Started up and at them, getting to moving. I woke up this morning, and you know, you know, it just wanted the morning wanted to get to me. This day wanted to get to me already. I didn't made plans and you know for the rest of the day made plans you know and um, based upon information that I already had and you know information had changed and it kind of throws a monkey wrench in how I plan to go about my day and it make my day a little bit longer. So, you know, I woke up and, you know, I looked over a couple of things and, you know, I, I, I began to become agitated. And we all know, first thing in the morning, I mean, like, first thing, like, Lord, forgive me, I didn't even pray first. You know, I did open my eyes and say, thank you for another day. But I didn't even pray first. First thing I did was I get up and I looked over some things. And sure enough, whole day ends up getting a monkey wrench thrown in it. So I immediately began to feel agitated. Immediately. And I'm just like, did a little complaining. Got into work van. And I prayed. I prayed as I was driving. You know, and I and I asked I asked for, you know, calmness. I asked that my you know for my for my heart to be soothed and to just just woosa, you know, patience. My mind is in is light years away from my situation now. I'm, I'm looking towards other things. And I find it difficult at times, given my circumstances, to see past the frustrations. And me, knowing the type of person I am, when I get frustrated, it tends to last and it tends to take over my whole day. <laughs> and it tends to just linger with me. And when it lingers with me, it begins to manifest in the other avenues of my mind and other things that I've been thinking about. And that puts me in a dark place in which I just don't want to be in. So I prayed and I prayed hard and I and I just I just really really talked to God and I said, "Lord, please <laughs> just grant me understanding and grant me patience." Cuz I'm not just I'm not just, you know, out here and just not doing what what is needed to be done. So I ask for patience because you know we do live in a time where we just want things to happen right away, and we we look towards the Red Sea and we expect it to be parted the second we get there. You know, like you know, it's like 
even with the enemies at, behind, at our backs, you know, we, we expect as soon as we take, as soon as we see the Red Sea, we expect the solution to just pop up, you know, and it's like, you know, God, God works on his own time, and, you know, I gotta remind myself of that every day, and I gotta just remember that, you know, everything happens in due time. And these little frustrations are not meant to throw you in such a disarray that it, it, it makes you, it just puts you back, you know? All these little things that happen to you, these little minor annoyances, these aren't major lessons because you've already learned that you gotta be patient. With me, I've already learned that I have to be patient. I have to practice being patient. I know things are going on, but I have to practice being patient. And being humble. And I understand that I have to wait on God's time. So if you have that understanding, you can't allow the little annoyances that will happen in your life. You know, just because you learned this lesson doesn't mean that just because you've learned a lesson based on other circumstances and situations that have happened doesn't mean that you're not going to be tested again in that avenue, you know. And because of that, you need to practice and utilize the things that you've learned. And you can't let them get to you. So you can't let the little things, the little annoyances become such a factor that it takes you out of your element all over again, especially when you've already learned from those annoyances in the past from different situations. So I say all that to say, have faith, brothers and sisters. Be patient. Talk to God. Continue to talk to God. Continue to have humility. Be humble. And always look for understanding and wisdom in your circumstances. Okay? Always look for that. Always ask, you know, what do I need to take from this? When things switch up, when life throws you a monkey wrench... Okay, what do I need to learn from this? What do I need to take from this? What's the lesson that I need to learn? What's the lesson that I've already learned? And what's the skills that I need to utilize to keep me moving forward and not take a couple steps back? Every time you lose that temper of yours, every time you allow frustration to manifest and take over and put you in that dark place, man, it's like... Especially when it's lessons that you've learned already. It's like taking 10 steps backwards. You know, and you got to... You got to understand that. And, you know... Disclaimer, I'm not saying that... I'm not saying that, you know... You're going to just be this mechanical robot. And every time something happens, you automatically swap to... Mm, oh, I learned this already. I did No, you know, things happen. You're human. We're all human. Not saying that I shouldn't have become frustrated and, and things like that. You know, it's just that knowing that I need to pray, knowing the solution to, to get past my frustration, I need to pray. I need to talk to God. I need to take a second and breathe and just woosa and just search my understanding. And search the way I interpret things and search the way I'm looking at life and bring myself to a better headspace. You know? You can't allow those emotions to be the forefront. Because if I allowed that frustration to continue to be the forefront of everything that I got going on today, then trust me, I would have had a very miserable day. And it's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It's a long day. <laughs> so, 
you know, I say that to, you know, I, like I said, I, I reiterate and I say that to just be like, yo, look, just hold strong, be wise in the way that you move, in the way that you think, you know, and allow yourself to process things and allow yourself to gain understanding and get to a place where you don't allow the little frustrations in life to manifest so much that it just puts you in a bad headspace. You dick? So, that's all I gotta say, y'all. You know, I hope the rest of your days go well. <laughs>